There are many ways to get shit done in Blender, but the best and most efficient approach is to turn Blender into a Lego-like system, building upon different assets and tools like add-ons and asset collections. Instead of starting from scratch every time, you can use modular resources that speed up your workflow. If you're making a jungle scene with trees, birds, and animals, why start with default trees when you can use a forest generator? Instead of manually rigging animals, you can pull from a collection of pre-rigged creatures. These tools and assets act as Lego blocks for Blender, letting you assemble complex scenes quickly while keeping your focus on creativity rather than tedious setup. So let's dive in and check them out. Lighting plays a critical role in rendering, influencing not just the visual appeal, but also the storytelling and overall mood of a scene. It helps guide the viewer's attention emphasizing key areas while subtly downplaying others. The right lighting setup can create depth, enhance materials, and set the emotional tone, whether it's a dramatic, high-contrast look or a soft, atmospheric feel. However, fine-tuning lighting can be time-consuming and complex, especially when working with multiple sources and balancing intensity, color, and shadows. That's why having a tool like Light Wrangler, which simplifies the process and makes setting up lighting as intuitive and efficient as possible, is a huge advantage. It streamlines adjustments, allowing artists to focus on creativity rather than technical hurdles. If you're looking to add more animals to your scenes, this add-on has you covered with a wide variety of options. It includes cats, dogs, horses, birds, snakes, dinosaurs, sharks, and more, each already rigged and ready to animate. Uh, the models come with basic animations like walk cycles, idle poses, and eating behaviors, making it easy to drop them into your project and bring your scenes to life quickly. For those seeking even more realism, the rigs are designed to be easily mapped to other characters, giving you the flexibility to fine-tune movements or integrate more detailed models. Whether you're creating a bustling cityscape, a prehistoric jungle, or an underwater adventure, this add-on gives you the tools to populate your world with lifelike creatures without the hassle of rigging from scratch. If you're building scenes filled with chaos and destruction, Destruction Tools is a must-have. This geometry nodes-based add-on makes it easy to add cracks, debris, and other damage to buildings or objects. You can expose bent rebar, scatter piles of rubble, or dangle wires for a post-apocalyptic vibe. With both edit and object mode compatibility, it's a versatile solution for creating dramatic, detailed environments. If you are thinking of creating anything that will need a city in the background or as a set, please don't do it yourself. You will waste a lot of time, creative juice, and momentum, only to end up with a barely usable city. Instead of spending hours manually placing buildings, tweaking layouts, and trying to make everything look natural, this tool does the heavy lifting for you. It procedurally generates detailed cityscapes, complete with apartments, shops, streets, and even intricate alleyways, giving you a realistic, lived-in look without the hassle. The city generator gives you full control while handling the tedious groundwork. This tool lets you focus on storytelling and world building rather than asset placement, making city creation faster, easier, and far more effective. Every artist needs a library of assets to build scenes efficiently without having to model everything from scratch. 3D scans, they offer unmatched realism, capturing real-world objects with precise form, structure, and texture down to the smallest details. If you want something to look truly authentic, 3D scans are the best option since they preserve imperfections, surface variations, and material properties in a way that handmade models often struggle to replicate. This Evermotion collection features over 60 high-quality 3D scans, each with high-resolution textures, making them ready for rendering right away. Whether you're working on architectural visualization, game environments, or cinematic scenes, these assets help you achieve lifelike results while saving hours of work. No need to tweak every tiny detail, just drag, drop, and render. Texturing or assigning materials to your objects is one of the simplest tasks in any 3D program. The nodes are easy to understand and the process itself is straightforward. However, there are countless types of materials and textures and every scene can require dozens, if not hundreds of them. While setting them up is relatively easy, the sheer repetition makes texturing one of the most tedious tasks for any 3D artist. But with a well-organized collection of high quality materials and textures, it can also become one of the easiest, fastest, and most enjoyable parts of the workflow. 
Lens flares are a natural optical phenomenon in real-world cameras. Here is a lens flare add-on, which makes it easy and intuitive to add realistic flares to your shots, ensuring your renders don't feel flat or incomplete. With just a few adjustments, you can bring in that subtle cinematic effect that elevates your final result, making your scenes feel more polished and immersive. Trees are a unique type of 3D asset. When you need many of them in a scene, they should be low poly to keep performance manageable, uh, but for close-up shots, they need enough detail to hold up visually. This balance can make creating a forest tricky, as you have to decide which trees should be low poly and which ones should retain high detail as the camera moves through the scene. Thankfully, this forest generator has built-in features that handle this dynamically, making it the perfect tool for these kinds of shots. It seamlessly switches between high poly and low poly versions of trees as the camera moves, ensuring optimal performance while maintaining detail where it matters most. When I need a quick exterior or interior render without spending too much time setting things up, I turn to project collections like this. Unlike a random assortment of 3D models that you have to piece together into a scene yourself, this is a curated collection of fully built environments, such as coffee shops, restaurants, bars, boutiques, and other business spaces. Of course, you can still move things around, tweak materials, and adjust the lighting to match your vision, but most of the heavy lifting has already been done. In the end, you get a versatile resource, a collection of complete projects that you can render as is, use for learning, modify to fit your needs, or even break apart for assets to use in other projects. Similarly, here is another collection, but this time it's a set of about 90 rigged, animated, and textured animals. Unlike a basic model pack, this collection comes fully prepared, featuring creatures ranging from dinosaurs to domestic animals like cats, cows, lions, tigers, and more. Each model is professionally rigged and animated, making them ready for immediate use in games, films, and simulations without the need for additional rigging or animation work. Of course, you can still tweak materials, adjust animations, or modify details to match your project's style, but most of the work has already been done. In the end, you get a versatile and time-saving asset library, a collection of high-quality animated animals that you can drop into your scenes as is or customize as needed. Artists love stylized art because it's easy to render on any computer. The shaders are lightweight, and there are usually no complex reflections to calculate. This means rendering time is rarely a concern when working on a stylized project. However, the real challenge lies in getting the shaders to look right. If you struggle with stylized shaders or simply want a large library to choose from, take a look at this stylized shaders collection. It comes packed with over 50 NPR shaders, including stylized outlines, halftones, comic book effects, anime shaders, and much more. Whether you're aiming for a hand-drawn look, a painterly style, or something unique, this collection has just about everything you need to bring your vision to life. Another style artists love is the post-apocalyptic aesthetic. We see it in countless movies. There's something undeniably captivating about depicting the end of civilization. Destroyed buildings, piles of rubble, empty streets, overgrown ivy, and abandoned cities have become a go-to look for many sci-fi films and games. I'm not claiming that this tool will give you all of that in one click, but it does provide an easy way to create destroyed buildings quickly. From there, you can layer additional elements like ivy growth, debris, and weathering effects using other tools or adding them manually. It's a solid foundation for building believable, immersive, post-apocalyptic environments without getting bogged down in tedious modeling work. Most of the tools we've talked about in this video can actually be created using geometry nodes. In fact, Top Channel 1 on 1 has a tutorial on making the destroyed building generator we just looked at, though it's a bit advanced. If you're new to geometry nodes, you can start with the basics by taking the Master Geometry Nodes course, where you'll learn to build simple generators and gradually level up your skills. I've also heard that the course is being updated with a new section on creating a paint simulation effect, so now's a great time to join and learn that as well. All links are in the description. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.